Hello, this is Mr. Stansberry. I'm going to take you through the collecting like terms notes. At the end of this, you should say uh, that I can simplify by collecting like terms. All right, first thing, like terms are terms which contain the same variable to the same exponent. Okay, so easiest way is to take a look at some examples here. Simplify where possible. So we have 2x minus 5x. Those um, really ignoring the 2 and the 5 right now, the x, that's x to the first and x to the first. So those are the same variable to the same exponent. So we can collect those together. So if we have 2x's and we subtract 5x's, that's going to give us negative 3x. Okay. t, that's t to the first and 5t to the first. So we can collect those together. We can also collect the numbers together. So let's see here. Let's put the numbers first. Seven and three is 10. All right, that takes care of those. And then we got t minus five t is minus four t. 10 minus four t will work just fine for that. Okay, eight <clears throat> x squared minus eight x. So again, if there's no exponent there, it's to the first. These are the same variable, but they are not to the same exponent. So that's uh, as really as simplified as you can get. You could factor an 8x out of both of those, but um, in this case here, we're just trying to collect like terms, so we just leave it as it is. These are not like terms, okay? t plus 3t minus 5t squared. So this is t to the first, t to the first, t to the second. So this negative 5t squared is not going to play with those other ones. So it's a different exponent, same variable. And then we have t plus 3t, so that is going to be plus 4t. So that would be the simplified version of that. Okay, 2l minus 3l, that's l the first, l the first. So those are the same. The double negative turns into a positive. 2l plus 3l is 5l. Okay, 3x squared minus 2x plus 7. That's x to the second, x to the first, and there's no x there, so these do not play together, so we just leave it as it is. That's not, you can't simplify that. Okay, and then this one here, 6r minus p plus 7r minus 7p. So let's do the p's first. So we got all these are to the first. So we have negative p and negative 7p to the first, so that is negative 8p. And then we have 7r and 6r, that's plus 13r, all right? And that is all as simplified as it gets. All right, that's uh, all there is for this section here. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask in class. Thanks.